Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. We are at Giga Texas right now. This is misinformation if you don't know, of course. Yeah, are you happy? I'm so happy. She had a good time, we had a good time. So I'm going to do a very quick recap of things. There is so much to go over that there's just no way because I need to go and talk to other people and all this stuff anyway. So it's just going to be a quick recap of, of just, you know, initial thoughts of things. So a little bit stream of consciousness. I do have a few notes here just to make sure. And check this out. Stainless steel. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So anyway, the, the, the passes were very awesome. So appreciate that. And really appreciate all the folks at Tesla, first of all. the All the workers and everything. I talked to several people um just so friendly up until the point where they couldn't tell me things. You know, I was like, Hey, how many, you know, how many cyber trucks are coming off the line every day? And they're like, we can't tell you that. So, you know, Elon, if you're listening, <laughs> they did not break their NDAs, but they did say up and down, you know, they said it's, it's getting, it's improving and it's still ramping and everything. So, um, some things, first of all, the factory tour was outstanding. It was the best by far. We got to go in, we got to film. I've got a ton of film video and so uh we will scott and i believe me scott is like oh man we're gonna go through this frame by frame so we will do that it's gonna take a few days before we get to that point obviously but the factory tour was amazing we got to see everything basically they have new motors so new front motor and a new rear motor which could be like one or two there's a small version which is one and a big version that's two that's got internal differential locking and all sorts of cool stuff uh, really amazing thing is steer by wire. So that is, you know, you have linkages in the car normally between the steering wheel and the wheels so that even if all the power goes out, and I've had this happen, you know, in old cars back in the day where the power would go out and you would be like, oh, and you're kind of coasting, you know, but you can still steer. So, um, I talked to one of the people on the factory line, again, really, really nice Tesla employees. And he was like, yeah, this is, this is the unit right here. That's got the, the steer by wire. And, and I was like, holy mackerel, it's like got nothing there. There's no cabling or anything like that going out. And he said, it took so long to get this approved because it has to have multiple, multiple redundancies to make sure that it never, ever fails. It cannot fail. It's got to always be working. Even if everything breaks, you know, it, uh, it has to continue to operate if the whole car goes offline. So it might only have, it might actually have its own power supply potentially or something. I don't know. So anyway, that's amazing. The giga castings were incredible. They are absolutely huge. And, uh, you know, I was explaining to Lane about how they, they, you know, it's basically like just shoot that, that aluminum in there and it's got to be able to form very quickly. It's got to have no hot spots or bumps or bulges or anything really gigantic. It's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she was saying the whole time. So it was really amazing because, you, you know, the, the Model Y, the Model 3 have a certain size, but this is like bigger. So obviously it's a truck, but to see them in person was like, holy mackerel, these, these just gigantic uh, castings and everything. So pretty impressive stuff. Uh, one thing that was really fun from the event, unfortunately, the event was not as cool as it could have been because there kind of Elon was down low and you probably didn't notice it when you watched the live stream, but he was down low and we were up high. Or, sorry, we were behind a bunch of people. And so we couldn't really see very much. He did stand on the truck for a while. So he talked about things, but that it was, you know, it was a little bit disappointing not to be able to see him better, but whatever. It was a really nice vibe and nice energy. Guessing it's somewhere around a thousand people there. It's hard to tell exactly, but it was, it was quite a few, but it was a small area. It was not upstairs in the conference room. It was down in the factory itself. So we basically, basically toured the factory, got to the room, waited 20 minutes. Elon came out and did his thing and Kimball was right in front of us and everything. So, hey, Kimball, whatever. Uh, but, you know, a bunch of people were there, talked to people, and then we walked back out of the factory, back around again to get to the same place. So we got to go through the factory twice and actually see things twice. It was... Um, the factory was running in what's called, I think they called it dry mode. It's basically demo mode. So nothing was actually happening. People were not on the line. But as you noticed at the end, the Model Y part of the factory was, you know, just cranking cars out. Also, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool. So, you know, as we were leaving, you're just seeing them just driving Model Ys out, Model Ys out. So they only shut down the part of the factory that was the, uh, the, the Cybertruck part of the factory. But it was still operating. You were seeing the the robots and everything. I was trying to guesstimate cycle times and stuff because I know Scott's going to ask me, but it looked like, you know, it was on the order of 30, 45 seconds, something along those lines. So that should give you this, the indication of how quickly the factory will be able to spit these cars out. There were a lot of Cybertrucks on the line. I don't know how many, like 
so many. There were, I was amazed. I think yeah. that was the, the thing that I was most amazed about is how yeah. many was, was there and being worked on and on yeah. the line. Yeah, it was it was very impressive how many cyber trucks were in stages of completion. So this is not Tesla is not trying to make a, a concept car that they'll make five of or something like that. They're clearly working to make this thing at mass scale, and it's uh, apparently there might be multiple of these cyber truck lines. They had the single motor for the front. They had the dual motor for the rear, and then they also showed us the single motor for the rear. So I'm going to get to pricing in just a minute here. But, you know, they had all three of the variants out there, although apparently they are not going to make the single motor version, you know, to, for a while yet. So anyway, the factory is running up and down, as they were saying, but it's definitely running. Uh, the, the best part of the presentation, I think, was when the Cybertruck beat the Porsche 911 while towing a Porsche 911 because they very that was really yeah cool. <laughs> that got a great audience response people were like really happy about yeah. that that's because you know they kind of like edited it so you couldn't really see and you, you were just like yeah it's beating it it's beating it and then they like showed it actually driving by with the Porsche behind it so that was pretty awesome we got to see the crash test vehicle definitely we'll show some video of that at some point uh we also got to see the bullet proof vehicle so cool. that was also so cool lane's got a picture of that that might actually end up being the thumbnail for this video i think i might do that that'll be pretty cool and then we also got to see the side impact uh crash test and i got to talk to one of the battery engineers and he talked to me uh about the you know the crash worthiness and stuff but he also said that their simulators are so good now that the simulator that they had for the crash test that indicates how exactly how the car is going to crumple and everything was, he was like, it was one-to-one. -one. He was like, there was no error in the simulation. So that's how good Tesla simulators are now. Really impressive stuff. Um, he talked to me about the battery chemistry. He said that the, you know, again, take this as one person's opinion, but it's an informed person. He said that the range will get better as the battery chemistry gets better. So as they get to version two of the 4680s, version three of the 4680s, as the chemistry of the batteries gets better, the range of the cyber trucks will get better. Which brings us to pricing. So that went up online, like I looked right at the end of the the, 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 the Cybertruck event, and it didn't look like they would have pricing, but they did. So there you go. So anyway, it's going to start with a rear wheel drive, so single motor for $61,000, and it's $990, so I'm rounding up by 10 bucks. so understand it's slightly less than that. But anyway, that will be, not be available to 2025, and it's got an estimated 250 miles range, so really, really close. We're currently, we've rented a standard range Model 3, and so it has a very similar range to this car that we're in right now, which is a perfectly good range. Uh, 6.50 to 60 times, so it's reasonably good, not fantastic, but considering how big the truck is, that's a pretty reasonable, like, you know, speed. And uh, anyway, so that will be, that'll be $61,000. $61, the $80,000 truck, which is coming in right at that sweet spot for, um, for getting under the IRA tax credit and getting the $7,500 tax credit. So I called it. A lot of people are like, no, it won't be that cheap. But I was like, no, I think it's going to be $80,000. So anyway, that's going to start delivery next year, 2024. 340 miles of range estimated so again you know more along the lines of the model y long range which is i believe 330 right now 330 i don't know it changes every day but really really close to the model y long range and it's got a 4.1 second zero to 60 so again almost the same thing as what the model y with not the the long range model y with the performance boost like that extra thing you can purchase so very very close to that speed 112 miles an hour top speed so it's not super fast but also it's pretty darn fast for a truck <laughs> and 600 horsepower which is amazing so you could guesstimate that the single motor version will be about 300 horsepower ish 600 horsepower uh seven seven hundred seven thousand four hundred and thirty five foot pounds of torque my goodness <laughs> it's hard to say anyway so it's got a lot of torque and 11,000 pounds towing capacity so the rear wheel drive version doesn't have towing capacity it will definitely not be 11,000 pounds and then the cyber beast mode so it's not beast mode but cyber beast anyway that is a hundred thousand dollars so that obviously will not qualify for the tax credit but is exactly in line with what we were guessing because we'd heard a lot of people say that it was going to be that from the people who got the initial orders delivery in 2024 so nobody's getting deliveries before that i guess there's these deliveries and then they're going to build up stock and put it out and everything but that's only a month till 2024 320 miles of range as opposed to 340 with the dual motor because of course you've got the three motors so it's a little heavier and all that stuff but 2.6 seconds zero to 60 
nice. <laughs> so that's not, it's not quite Model S Plaid land, but it is damn fast. And 130 mile an hour top speed as opposed to 112, so it'll be, it'll go fast. And 845 horsepower, so not quite an extra third in terms of horsepower. 10,296 foot pounds of torque as opposed to 7,500 and the same 11,000 pounds towing capacity. So I will tell you, you know, from us that we will, you know, I think the dual motor is the sweet spot. That, yeah, <laughs> so I got, hey, I got the thumbs up. So, I mean, you get the tax credit, so effectively it's $72,500 as opposed to $80,000. Um, the rear wheel, it also is not, the rear motor one will be not be available for a while, and it just seems a little bit of an underperformer, and why not spend the extra money to get the better car? So that will probably be what we will do with that, and uh, we're super excited about it. I don't know, any final thoughts? It was great to meet all the people, all the Tesla employees, all the other fans, uh, everybody. My gosh, it was so awesome. And we are going to the after party now. So we got our <laughs> tags for that, <laughs> tags for days. And um, yeah, I guess we'll talk to you all later and we will do, of course, more in-depth videos in the future. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching and you know, do the whole like and subscribe. And also we got a lot of compliments on this. You know where we're going we don't need any paint that's on the merch store so by all means go check that out and grab yourself one of those and we will see you later okay bye bye